Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are safe and happy at home. I welcome you all to today's English class. Students, after a number of grammar based sessions, I have planned a session based on our literature book Roots and Wings. Children, today we are going to do a chapter. And you know, this chapter is very interesting. It is based on the invention of something that most of us would like to travel in but due to the prevailing circumstances none of us is able to do so. Are you able to guess what I am talking about? Yes, come on. What is it? Yes, you guessed it right. I'm talking about a means of air travel. That is airplane. So today we are going to read how the first aeroplane was invented. Children, it was not easy and of course it was not built in a day. It took the inventors some years to be finally successful in making it. And you know the form in which you see the present airplane is very different from the one that was invented first. We are going to learn about the entire story of how it all began. How did the idea came to the mind of the inventors? What were the challenges that they faced? And how did they overcome it? You know, basically everything about the invention of aeroplane. I'm already very excited. And I'm sure so are you. So would you like to read about the airplane, its invention and everything about it? So let's get started. Children, this is the chapter, chapter number two. The story of the aeroplane. It is given on page number 23 of your textbook. Now before we actually start reading the chapter, let us identify a few things that most of you would have seen. Let's have a look. It's a small interesting activity. Look at the following pictures and identify what is shown in them. Use the given clues. So children, five pictures are given to you. Yes, you all can see these five pictures. One, two, three, four and five. Right? And then some clues are also given to you. You can see aeroplane, glider, kite, rocket and helicopter. I'm sure you would be able to recognize them. Yes? So can you identify and tell the names of these things that are given in the picture? 
Let us try. Okay. So picture number one. What is it? Yes, this is a kite. Picture number two. What is it? Very right. This is a glider. Let's move forward. What can you see in picture number three? Right. This is a helicopter. Then picture number four. Yes, this is what we are going to read about. This is an aeroplane. Right? And we are left with picture number five. And we all know we can easily identify a rocket. Yes, this is a rocket. Very good. So we have identified all five of them. Let's move further. Okay. Now let us start the reading of the chapter. Children, this chapter is meant only for reading. Right? So we will read it, understand it and we will come to know the story of the aeroplane. There was a time when people could never dream of flying in the air like a bird. But today, it is all a reality. You can fly to any part of the world in no time. The following story, as you will read, tells you how the Wright brothers invented the first aeroplane. Okay. Very true children. There was a time when people could never dream of flying in the air like a bird. Yes, there used to be a time. Children, you must have learnt in your EVS also about means of communication, means of travel. So there used to be a time when people could never dream of flying. They could never even think of flying in air like a bird. Yes, everybody had seen a bird flying in the air. But we the human beings, we could never even think about it. But today, it is all a reality. But today, today means in the present times, it is all a reality. Reality means it is a truth. It is, it is happening in actual. Yes. Reality means the state of things as they actually exist. Today, this is all a fact. We have seen people flying in air like a bird. And many of, our, many of you also would have travelled in an aeroplane. You can fly to any part of the world in no time. Yes, you can fly to any part of the world in no time. In no time means, yes children, in no time means very quickly, very soon. Now, in present times, it is possible to go to any part of the world in no time. That means very quickly because of aeroplane. The following story, as you will read, tells you how the Wright brothers invented the first aeroplane. Okay, children, the following story, as we are going to read, it is going to tell us how the Wright brothers invented the first aeroplane. So, we have come to know from here that who were the inventors of aeroplane? Wright brothers. Why they were called Wright brothers? Was it their name or were they actually brothers? 
let's read about it and we'll come to know it about it very soon yes wilbur wright and orville wright created history when they invented the first aeroplane they designed their first aircraft that was a small glider it was flown as a kite they arched the tip of the glider's wings slightly to control its balance and movement yes so wilbur wright and orville wright created history when they invented the first aeroplane so children now the secret is over why they were known as wright brothers because they were two brothers one of them was wilbur wright and another one was orville wright so wilbur wright and orville wright were the names of the inventors of aeroplane they created history when they invented the first aeroplane created history means yes to do something that is very important or you can say very famous and that will be remembered as a part of history yes of course the invention that they made that is of the aeroplane it was so so important in the history of travel in the history of means of travel that it is remembered and it is going to be remembered for ever so they created history when they invented the first aeroplane they designed their first aircraft that was a small glider so the first aircraft that they designed was like a small glider it was curved it was flown as a kite children the way a kite flies in the sky that glider the first aircraft that both of them who the wright brothers the first aircraft that they made it was flown as a kite they arched the tips of the glider's wings slightly to control its balance and movement children they arched arched means curved glider is a slight aircraft that is designed to fly without using an engine so the the first aircraft that they designed was like a small glider it flew it flew like a light aircraft without using an engine they arched the tips of the glider wings arched means to give them the sh a curved shape they gave it a curved shape to the wings of the glider glider's wings yes i hope you remember possessive nouns glider's wings that means wings of the glider they curved the tips of the wings of the glider slightly slightly means to a, a small degree right so they slightly curved the wings of the glider to control its balance and movement so that it is stable balance means the stability to maintain its stability they curved the tips of the glider's wings to get a better idea the wright brothers spent hours observing birds in flight they noticed that the birds soared up in the sky and the curved surface of their wings 
helped them move up. Birds change the shape and flap their wings to turn and control their speed. The Wright brothers thought that they could use this method and change the shape of the wings of the glider to fly it successfully. Okay. So, what is being told over here is to get a better idea, the Wright brothers spent hours observing birds in flight. Children, nothing comes easy. If you feel that flying in an aeroplane is quite easy, but the hard work behind it was immense. Can you even imagine how was it invented? The inventors, the Wright brothers, they spent hours observing birds in flight. When the birds used to fly, because earlier people, human, they had only seen the birds flying till the time air aeroplane was invented. They had seen the birds flying in the air. So, the Wright brothers, they spent hours, they spent a lot of time observing, noticing. Observing means noticing the birds in flight. No, they used to spend hours and they used to notice how were the birds flying. What was the mechanism that the birds were using to fly? They noticed that the birds soared up in the sky and the curved surface of their wings helped them move up. They noticed, what did they notice? They noticed that the birds soared up. Soared up means rose high in the air. That the birds moved up in the air, in the sky and the curved surface of their wings helped them move up. They saw that the birds, they moved up in the sky and what helped them? The curved surface of their wings. That helped them move up in the sky. Birds changed the shape and flapped their wings to turn and control their speed. Birds change the shape and flap their wings. Flap their mean, wings means, yes, flapping means to move the wings up and down while flying. Yes, children, you must have noticed that while the birds are flying, what do they do? They flap their wings like this, right? The flapping of the wings of birds is done like this. The birds fly like this, yes. So, they noticed that the birds change the shape and flapped their wings to turn and control their speed. In order to control their speed and in order to turn, yes, it's not possible for birds always to fly in a straight line. They also turn, they move their wings, right? They move in different directions. So they saw that they flapped their wings to turn and control their speed. Then, the Wright brothers thought that they could use this method and change the shape of the wings of the glider to fly it successfully. Now from here, they got an idea that they could use this method. Which method? The flapping of the wings like the birds do. They can also use this method and change the wings of, change the shape of the wings of the glider to fly it successfully. Yes, in order to fly the glider successfully, they can use the method that the birds are using of flapping of wings so that they can change the shape of the glider. So they thought of changing the shape of the glider in order to fly it in a successful way. Right children, I hope you have understood till here. Now, were they able to change the shape of the wings of the glider or not? How did they change it? What were the challenges they faced? And how were they finally successful? We are going to read all about it in our next session. 
That's all for today. Take care. See you in the next session. Bye-bye.